evening, everybody, and welcome to the Metal Magazine with Jet right here on Metal Messiah Radio. This month on the show marks Guitar Month, and to celebrate, we're having a month-long list of guitarists on the show, and right now I have a special guest who not only plays guitars, but builds guitars. We have Scott Pavarnik, a false prophet and owner of SP Custom Guitars. Welcome to the show, Scott. Hey, thanks for having me. So, Scott, how old were you when this love affair with the guitar started? Uh, I got a guitar when I was, mm, I was 13, 14, something like that, and uh, messed around, and I took one lesson when I was like 15, and couldn't really get my fingers to do it, so I put it, put it away, and uh yeah, I met, I met a dude in middle school, and he played bass, and we just kind of learned together. And what were some of like the bands you were jamming out to as a kid? <laughs> uh, like Early on, it was like Metallica, Slayer, Megadeth, and went on to like you know, Death and Deicide and Sepultura, <laughs> Obituary. You know. and, and were you in like, any bands or anything once you got more comfortable with a guitar? Uh, no, um, him and I, we, you know, we messed around, but never did anything. So actually false prophets, you know, the first band I've ever been in. And okay. So tell us about getting the gig with false prophet then. <laughs> um, how did that work out? There was a, a Facebook post from Paul, um, and it was any death metal guitar players around. And I was like, hmm. Here's your shot. <laughs> you know, it was you know one of your favorite bands growing up, so so I hit him up and I was like, hey, you know, I play, I play guitar. And he invited me out. Yeah, you know, I had to I had to kind of pester him a little bit. But eventually, got <laughs> got invited out and uh, never never left. So, so pester him meaning you got him all liquored up so he would say yes or <laughs> no? It was like you know I, I hit him up and he's like, well, you know we're. we're you know, still looking or you know he he, he keep putting it off and i mm -hmm. keep hitting him up hey man did you get anything yet hey man did you get anything yet and eventually he caved so. <laughs> <laughs> so hey so since you've been with them now right you guys been doing some shows and you're working on some new music so so what could yeah. you tell us about you know the new stuff that you guys are working on oh it's it's pretty brutal it, it you know profit has like for me it's like that death metal thrash metal mixture and it's it's still it's still profit yeah mm -hmm. it's just it's just new yeah how Fresh. much how much um stuff have you guys got written so far right now we have three new songs um working on a fourth so hopefully we'll be in the studio probably june knock those out so that's something that we're definitely looking forward to and of course when that's all done and you got some stuff out there, you're definitely got to come back on the show because, like we have talked earlier, we're definitely going to play that new shit on here. Yeah, you're the first. So. Perfect. Okay, <laughs> so, Scott, so what age did you start, like, tinkering around with, you know, building guitars and why? <laughs> um, it was about four years ago, maybe five, something like that. Mm -hmm. um, well, I always wanted a certain guitar. And I got a quote for that guitar, and it was way too much money just for unpainted, you know, version, kind of like what I'm playing now. <laughs> and uh, I was like, well, you know, I'll try it. I'll build it, and you know, spent a bunch of money on tools. I had no idea how to how to glue anything, so I'd ask one of my buddies, his his dad was a carpenter. I was like, hey man, how, how, ask your dad how to glue stuff. <laughs> I had no idea like what kind of glue to use or anything, and just pretty much got a. Uh, bunch of books, and watched a ton of YouTube videos, and you know, just kind of absorbed all I could, and built that first one, that's that's the only guitar I play now. Oh, wow, so you still have that first one, and that's what you're yeah. playing? Oh, that's kind of yeah. cool. Yeah, any, any of the pictures you see, that's that's the guitar, it's number one. So so when did you decide to make this a business? Um, it kind of just happened, really. It was, you know, I was through Facebook, I got up with Rick Roz, and he you know, asked me about a guitar. I built him one, and I had to think of a name, what to call it, because, you know, there was no, you know, SP, and he's just like, well, just, you know, call it, you know, your your name. I'm like, all right, so you think SP's cool? And he's like, yeah, so that's just kind of how that happened. <laughs> it's it just all, like, 
happened so quickly and just you know organically it was just it was weird man i'm still still trying to get over it and then so how many artists do you have now i mean past and present i have i haven't sat there and thought about it um i don't know i think i've built maybe maybe less than i haven't uh, actually i've never counted these so probably around 20 guitars give or take a few that's quite so. a bit in four years actually so <laughs> yeah i mean you know, i'm always working um and you know most of those guitars have went to you know heroes of mine so that's pretty cool and scott so, so when you build a guitar for a client how does that process go um usually it's you know we, we kind of figure out you know hey man like what kind of design are you into? Uh, what kind of sound are you looking for? And we'll kind of go over that. And you know, we'll usually video, like video Skype or do Facebook video, and go over the woods. Um, I'll, I'll draw up a few designs, and we'll finally come up with a, you know, one we both we, we both like, and just kind of go from there. You know, it's, it's pretty simple but kind of complicated at the same time. Well, you know, we watched kind of at least i saw some of the pictures on instagram kind of the process you were going through with you know stephen tucker when you were building his guitar mm -hmm. and that's kind of nice that they could actually hold it at that stage before you have it all done so they could be super hands-on and where they want certain things and how they want you know oh yeah yeah um yeah we did that show with work the other night and you know i, I brought that you know the, the body blank so Stephen could check it out, and uh, I knew that Stephen, uh, you know, he's a carpenter, mm -hmm. but I didn't think about it. So I, if, I'd have, if I'd have brought some chisels and some rafts, he would have like <laughs> went to town on himself. But he, he kind of drew where he wants me to do certain things, which is really cool that um, the artist gets to interact with their instrument. You know what I mean? Like, yes, absolutely. Because you can't get more custom than that, you know. No, I mean you know you know I, he did this, you know, and you know I brought some little. Um, serial number dies, so he, he stamped the numbers at, right there at the uh, at the venue. It was pretty cool. I feel like doing it. Oh, that is so, awesome. And, yeah, it's pretty sick. And um, so, you know, you had mentioned woods and all that kind of stuff. So what kind of woods do you work with, or will you just get any wood that the artist wants? <laughs> well, there, <laughs> there, there's, there's some, you know, classic recipes, I guess you'd call it. Um, you know, uh, but yeah, whatever, whatever they want. You know, I'm open to try things. And I know, uh, talking to Terrence, who will be on next week, uh, and he plays your guitars, and you'll hear all the lovely things he says about them, too. But he said that his was made out of a couple of different woods. Yeah, um, he saw the one that, uh, you know, did with Rick, and he's like, maybe one just like that, but, you know, a different shape. So mm -hmm. uh, his is Sapili, um wings, the sides, uh, flame maple neck through with uh what was that uh, tiger wood in the center mm -hmm. and purple heart yeah it's yeah. it's a nice guitar he loves it and anyways we'll hear all about that next week so i mean even so you have woods and finishes and strings and different pickups <laughs> so do you use a lot of the I don't really know the components and stuff of guitars. I'm going to say a pickup is some kind of a component of a guitar. <laughs> Do you use the same ones in everything that you build? Or if an yeah. artist wants a different kind, do you go with whatever the artist wants? Yeah, a lot of those guys, they, they have endorsements, you know. Mm -hmm. And so they'll send me, you know, whatever, whether it's, you know, EMG or Fishman or Lace or, you know, whoever. They'll just have those sent to me and, you know, we'll put in whatever, whatever they want. So, oh, that makes that makes sense. Like I said, I'm a drummer person. I don't really know this stuff, but I'm learning. So, well, that's yeah. kind of cool. So they get their endorsement, whatever mm -hmm. it may be, built right into their guitars. And mm -hmm. uh, that's kind of cool. And if a guitarist is looking for a guitar, would you? Uh, what would you suggest to them as far as woods goes, depending on what they play? Like, does a certain style of music, would you suggest a certain wood for what the tone would be for what that type of music is um uh, not really the type of music but the type of tone they're after you know mm -hmm. if you want know, something mellower we you know go with mahogany type of thing a little brighter go with maple you know if you want to even it out do both you know there's certain little recipes that are you know tried and true so it's just, okay 
So I was going to say, I'm like thinking like maybe a power metal person wants fucking white birch or something like that. <laughs> I don't know what that sounds like, but you know, I would try it. <laughs> so, so <laughs> what is it like for you to see like your guitars like in action on stage or, or on videos and stuff like that? Oh, it's, it's, it's amazing. I mean, you, you can't imagine what it's like to be with something for, you know, three months, then you know send it off or pass it over and then and see it you know luckily i've seen every guitar on stage you know wow. the day that i give it to them or something so it's just i've been pretty pretty fortunate and just you know see it up there played like as soon as i hand it to them it's it's pretty mind-boggling it's awesome so so how long does it take to build one <sighs> like total time about three months oh wow um, that's not that long at all <laughs> well, it's like total time to build it. You know, that, well, that's... yeah, I know you're in between whatever else you got in life, but <laughs> yeah, like you like to call the time. It takes like you know for yeah three months. Mm -hmm. And now also, you know, I just wanted to mention really quick because I thought it was kind of cool that your guitar tech for Hobbs and Claudius when he played played your guitars too. So mm -hmm. I think that's kind of nice. And even talking to Hobbs again next week, this is a randomized, well, not even play next week, so we're talking all about it this week. But <laughs> <laughs> he had mentioned, too, what better person in the world to have as your guitar tech as the person that built a freaking guitar. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's, uh, it's you know, I love suffocation. And, you know, Hobbs is, you know, one of my favorite people on this planet. And to be able to spend, you know, a month with those guys and see... That show every night was just an honor and amazing and yeah, something that I don't take for granted. And so how did your guitars hold up for that tour? Uh, he still played them. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, I think Hobbs is pretty easy, man. Like, I didn't have to change strings but maybe three times for him. He didn't really want me to do much. Because he has a certain recipe that he likes, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He doesn't, he doesn't really like bright strings. So. No, no, nope. and yeah, and he seems like I said everybody that is a client of yours that I've talked to always has the greatest things to say about the guitars and how they're built and the quality. And if people want to learn more about your company, where can they where can they go to? What sites can they go to, Scott? Uh, you know, hit me up on Facebook. I'm pretty easy to find. Uh, SP Custom Guitars USA dot com webpage. I haven't really. Uh, Updated in a while, uh, kind of ran out of time, but, you know, Facebook is usually the best way to get in touch with me. And, and Scott, who is your, like, most favorite guitar player in the whole world? <sighs> Man, that's a hard, that's a hard one to answer. I, I have so many favorites, you know, like, just talking about Hobbs, he's probably one of the most underrated guitar players on the planet. He, the guy is amazing you know it's baffling how good he is and i don't think people realize it and, you know claudius claudius is an amazing guitar player He's, you know both those dudes are amazing people also so it's and luckily i get to work with those guys and they both make it look so effortless up there when they're playing you know oh, yeah. it's, it's fun it's, to watch them they just they just roll with it it's really fun to watch both of them you know i mean hobbs is amazing you know to watch him mm -hmm. you know on stage I mean, you get to watch him night after night but it's just amazing and then he gets off stage he's like the most fucking chill dude ever <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's so weird you know it's just he's like you said super nice guy and so hey there you guys go you can check out scott of sp custom guitars and false profit on his website if you have any questions Questions for him about the band or about building a guitar for you, you could hit him up over there. And Scott, thank you for coming on the show and telling us a little bit about the process of you go through building a guitar, what's going on with False Prophet, and we look forward to new music from the band and having you all back on with that. Oh, of course, man, and it's always an honor and you know pleasure. And we love you and can't wait to hear it. You know. Here you play it. Here you debut it. It's gonna be awesome.